Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. This is Astra, the latest agent to hit Valorant. She's absolutely incredible. She has to be the most uniquely designed agent in the game. I am on a higher plane, Charlie. Literally. So check this out. Do not be alarmed. I'm going to explain everything in this video the way the new agent works. But look at this. It's absolutely incredible. I was awestruck when I seen this. I'm like, what is going on? It is mental. Absolutely mental. All right. We're going to break all of this down. Firstly, let's talk about her main resource. This is stars. Now, if you look at the bottom of the UI, you will notice five rings above the abilities. Those are your stars. And the way you deploy the stars is from astral form which is what I'm in now. So you basically hit your ultimate key. I've got my bounder X and I'll just go straight into the astral form and then you can start deploying the stars all over the map. The range doesn't matter. As you guys can see, you can see the whole map. You can put stars absolutely everywhere. And the way she works is you deploy the stars and then you decide what ability you'd like to activate on those stars. But you can also recall the stars and they've got a very funky effect when you do that. She has got a lot of, a lot of options at her disposal. She's so good. What makes Astra unique is you buy the stars. So what you do is when you're going in, instead of buying your abilities into the buy menu, you basically buy charges of astral form or, well, not really charges, but stars that you can use while you're in astral form. And then, of course, you deploy them on the map. So what do they look like? Well, these are the enemy stars which have been placed down. So the enemy Astra has gone into astral form and placed her stars down on the ground. And you'll notice you cannot destroy them. But the other thing you'll notice as well, guys, is that they're massive. They are very visible. So this is an element of, yeah, you can kind of outplay these in some ways because you can see them. Now, of course, there are places you can place them where they will be difficult to see. So you run through a choke and then suddenly one gets triggered and off it goes. But they're very visible. But this also means you could place them and use them as a deterrent. People see them on a site. They don't want to go into that site because they know Astra could possibly have that site on lockdown. There you can see my actual stars placed down. So mine appear yellow and have the interactable icon below them. And you can deploy them first person and from astral form. So let's take a look at the abilities. The first one we'll look at is Gravity Well. Now you need to deploy the star from astral form and then you can activate the Gravity Well. The way this works is... It pulls everybody, and I mean everybody, allies, enemies, towards it. It's like a mini black hole, but it also applies vulnerable as well, so you'll take more damage when you've been sucked into this thing. Now, it's got some kind of unique uh, uses this has, and I'll show you a little bit later in the video. But as you can see, it pulls both of us together, enemies and allies, and then you get the vulnerable effect placed on top of you. Now, very unique ability. You can pull people out of cover, pull people around. I mean, this is going to be really good. But let's move on to the next ability I want to show you guys. Now, this is Nova oh, Pulse. You. Now, this will stun everybody caught inside it. You will have noticed as well, as I was looking at the star when it was placed on the ground, you will see a faint outline. That yellow, well, it's not yellow, it's like orange. That's the area of effect of the ability. Now, of course, this will hit you. It will hit enemies. It hits allies. It hits everybody who is caught inside it. So, you've got a mini... Graviton Surge, if you've got any Overwatch fans out there, which will pull you towards the uh, center of the star, you can actually combo it up. So what I'm going to show you here is placing two stars down from Astral Form and then using the Grav into the stun. Watch this. It's pretty good because you could combo this. As people run through a choke, you could pull them and then hit them with a stun. And of course, they get vulnerable on them as well. Insane. Absolutely insane. Now, I briefly touched on this, but you have map-wide activation of your stars. So, you have to go into Astral Form, which we're in right now, to place the stars down. However, you've got two options to activate them. You can activate them in Astral Form, or you can activate them from the standard first-person view, which I'm going to show you here. I'm going to activate my smokes. Now, I'm going to do this again, but show you guys from the enemy's perspective, so you can see the way this works. So... If I wanted to smoke up the A site, you can see we've got my, my chill on the A site, and then I just start spamming the smokes through the wall, you can see how they activate. Really, really good. It's, it's, it's mega. Okay, so let's take a look at the smokes because they are very powerful. So again, you begin with placing stars down. I'm going to use two stars down here, and that's expended two stars from my five-star charge. You can see they're both there. When I look at them and I use the smoke, mega powerful smoke. Think omen smokes, brimstone smokes. Like These are really good smokes. They've got a good duration on them as well, but you can only deploy two of them. You may in this video see me deploy more, but you can only deploy two at a time. 
Watch the ability recharge at the bottom. When they're both gone, we can go again. But notice I have lost two of my star charges or astral form charges. But there is another smoke you get. And this is really cool. If you recall the star by pressing F, you get a mini smoke. It's like it. a mini jet smoke. Look at that. That's so cool. You will notice as well, if you look at the star UI, it takes time for them to recharge back before you can place them again. But this gives you options, and I really like that. So she's actually got two smokes. You can also deploy the smokes from the astral form. And there's a really cool sort of graphic here. You get to see the area that they're smoking off. So if I was holding C here and I needed to smoke up B for whatever reason, I could do it from C and I can see exactly where I've placed the smokes and I can see how long they're going to last for because, well, when they disappear from astral form, the graphic, then they're going to disappear. Of course, the UI will tell me as well when they, you know, the timer runs out, I'll be able to see that. But yeah, how cool is that? This is such a crazy agent. Okay, let's deploy some more smokes. Now, I'm going to actually put four down here. You can't do this in the game uh, when it's live and normal without using the cheats in custom games. You can only use two smokes. But this is just for illustration purposes. So, I'm going to deploy my smokes here. And I'm, then I'm going to walk into them and show you guys what it's like when you're inside them, when there's an enemy inside them. So, you've got all of that. But I really like the effect of them. They look so cool. That sort of like nebula effect inside of them. So, you can see there, our friend's hiding inside. Yeah. They don't obscure sound or anything like that. It's just a straight up visual blocker pretty cool stuff and they've got a nice effect when they disappear as well but remember you can only drop two of these so taking a look at the what i'm calling the recall smoke so this is when you recall a star you get a cheeky smoke so i've just showed you this but you what that. happens Recovering. when we spam you them and you run through them and all of that stuff right that. now of course remember you would be placing all of your stars you down that. to do this it's probably not the best usage of them in an actual game but you can see they're quite effective and this is what the enemy smoke looks like with the ally smoke and it actually turns into an unfortunate shape. <laughs> Not going to lie. That, that made me laugh. But yeah, look, cool. Enemy smokes are obviously red. Okay, it's time to talk about the ultimate. This is Cosmic Divide. If you're a Overwatch fan, you, you know Symmetra's ultimate? It's that, but on steroids, it's crazy. So you go into Astral Form, you hold right mouse button down, and then you get the sort of double, like both hands on the screen. And then if you spin around... You can decide where you want to place the wall. Notice on the minimap, a large blue line. That's where it's going to go. You drop this wall, and it's got a very unique property. Listen to this. That's right. It obscures sound. It heavily muffles sound, which means you can actually push with this. It's so good. You can run at one side, and the enemy won't know you're there. It is really good. But it's got some really cool interactions, and I'm going to show you them now. It cannot be destroyed. You cannot destroy the cosmic barrier. Now, we've got two Odins here. There's a lot of firepower going into the wall. It will not be destroyed. It will stay there for its entire duration. And look what it's doing. It's blocking bullets. That's right. This ultimate ability blocks bullets. It is stupidly powerful. You can just dissect the map. In effect, you're putting a wall down across the map. That is incredibly powerful, but you can still walk through it. Talking of going through it, what about abilities? Does it block them? Well, bit of a spoiler here, it actually doesn't. So, we're going to take a look at Rays here. She's going to fire rocket launches, throw a nade through it. Look at that, they go straight through it. There's also some really interesting sort of interactions with this, uh, especially with Brimstone and Phoenix with their Molotovs and, and um, just area denial, the way that it bleeds through the bottom of the barrier. But I'll show you that in a second. But as you can see here, bullets get blocked. Abilities do not. That is the simplistic way to view this ultimate. What about Phoenix? All right, this is really cool. So, if you fire the recon dart on the one side of the wall and the enemy is on the other side, it will not penetrate them. So, as far as abilities goes, you guys can see that there. It will not actually show me up as I move through the wall. But get this. If you fire it through the wall, look, it does show that there's an enemy there. So there is a lot of counterplay here. Sober could be pretty strong against this. You know, if your Astra goes for a push with Cosmic Divide, you just fire the old uh, the old arrow through <laughs> and all is revealed. Now, one thing to notice as well is you can see the visual effect of the, uh, the recon dart when you're the other side, when it's the other side. You can see the yellow effect. So always be aware of that. Let's take a look at Brimstone then because Brimstone has got a very nice thing you can do with Molly. <laughs> And of course, this means that, yes, Phoenix can do the same with his area denial fireball ability. All right, check this out. So abilities go through. We know this. We've just seen Rays firing everything through that she can, throw nades, rockets. But look at Molly. It bleeds through 
underneath the wall. The wall does not stop this. It doesn't cause it to splash on the other side. It actually lets it bleed through. This means if you are playing Brimstone, you can still molly like, for example, even this choke here, and you wouldn't be able to run through with the wall because the wall will not cut World in half divided. the molly. And that's really powerful knowledge. Look at this. This is a great shot by Josh. Lands the molly. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see that perfectly there. It bleeds through. And yes, it does do damage. Right, let's take a look at Phoenix. So Phoenix is actually really cool to show off with this wall because all of his abilities obviously go through it. So curveball. Yes, you can lob his flashbang straight through and it's going to flash us. But we need to be on the same side as it. It won't flash back through. Yes, which is kind of like, you know, that's what you would expect with this wall. Look at his firewall. Look, I mean, this looks really cool, actually. So he can chuck this straight through. Yeah, it's still going to damage you if you walk through it. There goes down his molly. <laughs> and yeah, look, it goes straight through. So you've got to be aware of that. Abilities will go Joke's through. Over. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> so what about interactions with the abilities when you're planting? Can you actually prevent a plant? Well, using the little mini graph... You can actually slow them when they're caught in it and you can pull them out of the bomb plant area. That's kind of the only way you can disrupt them from planting. If you try and stun them, they can still plant. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This has been an ability showcase for Astra, who is the new agent in Valorant. And honestly, I kind of lost my mind a little bit when I first jumped onto the test server and tried to play her. It's so like the... Is she so like the design on show? It's so good. She looks so cool to play. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, guys. And I will catch you, lovely lot, on the next video. Toodaloo. Oh, and remember, you can follow me on everything, which is at Stylosa. Toodaloo.